Hello YouTube, I'm here today to be continuing a very exciting series which is Polyglot 002 Fret. So uh, my first tip about reading is to read a lot. Okay, so um, doesn't really matter what uh, material that you get your hands on. Uh, online articles or um, let's say any textbooks or any sort of a dictionary that you can get your hands on go forth and just do it just read everything I, I have some few examples here so, um, you know I still have my standard 6 which is um, my textbook from when I was 12 I still kind of look through that and I still find myself learning something new every time I read this um, yeah and then I guess like a very good tip is to read um, proverbs okay so uh, like uh, not very nice ones but um, I guess this one is good so it talks about how a person makes sacrifice uh, and not say anything but it's for the better good their sacrifice is for the better cause so i think this sentence is very poetic um yeah i mean like mandarin proverbs you know reading proverbs are actually an insight to a culture it's actually an uh, you know, it's not only that you get to learn the language, but you also get to learn more in depth of how that culture thinks or how that culture behaves. Children's book. I think actually reading children's book is a very good um, introduction to any language. Okay, this is the book that I got. Oh, it's Big Hero 6. So, like, as you can see, it says Bay Maxu. My katakana is not very good, um, but uh, I am quite okay with hiragana and kanji um, because of my background in Mandarin. So uh, children's books are actually really good, especially the ones that you actually know the story to. So I'm a big fan of Big Hero 6, and so this is... I already know the story, so I know the storyline, so I kind of can guess a lot of the things that they are saying in this book. So I have the Spanish version of Matilda as well. This I got from Argentina. It's very hard to track down, but I, I mean, I don't look for it per se, but um, when I do find it, I do get quite excited. And um, so visual materials are very good at helping you decipher what things mean. It's good to kind of have visual um, cues to tell you what certain thing means and then you can kind of figure out. It's kind of like a puzzle that you put together. A good example will be a craft book. So this is another Japanese craft book and she does paper cutting. And so I'm obsessed with paper cutting right now. And um, so as you can see, it's very pretty. It's like um, the, the word for paper cutting is this. So, you know, you see repetitive words and then you can kind of decipher what they are. Directions like this um, and not knowing what they mean, but through pictures, you know. It's quite intuitive uh, for you to look at something and then can tell straight away what it what it means okay so that's tip number four I have Malay book here and this is a book that I had when I was 16 and um, inside here um, that's again a lot of proverbs uh, which I really like um, let's find something that's interesting okay uh, maybe not proverbs for today I will be reciting I guess a Boom. Um, so this is uh, Saja. Saja is a um, non-rhyming sort of uh, poem. 
and it reads segara angin laut mengembalikan dunia pada pada kulit sebagai buih kecil terapung di air menjaring sedikit rezeki dan sisa ikan kulit ketam kepala sotong dan kaki udang yang bersimpati seperti kulit di terdampak di pasir menampakkan urat jalur jalur tua anak laut itu sudah dapat merneka sejak langkahnya hampir tiba pada muara pencipta I'm not sure if you can tell but from the tone it's actually quite a sad story I guess to recap um, tip number one is to read anything read any sort of materials that you can get your hands on with me to tip number two which is to read children's book so third point I guess is to read proverbs proverbs are very very important into a, an insight into a culture tip number four to read a lot of poems and then so tip number five was to look at visually packed articles visually packed uh, language related things that is very helpful uh, but last but not least is to read out loud just read it all out and then that way you can practice both your speaking and also your reading I guess that's it from me today and um, just let me know if you guys think this is a good video I'm not that good at making videos so um, yeah just let me know and then so I can improve on it the next time anyways thank you bye bye